Hi students, let us continue with the relational algebra. In the previous video, I explained about the basic operator that is the select operator. Now let us see the projection operator. So whereas a select is a selection operator sigma is used to select only the rows. Whereas pi is used to select the columns. So that point you have to be remembered. So this projection operator pi, it projects, it projects columns that satisfy a given predicate that satisfy a given predicate okay so what is the notation for this projection operation notation this is pi a1 a2 up to a n of r so what it means so pi is nothing but it is used to select the only the columns Columns are nothing but only the attributes. Attributes you call it as a columns. So here a1, a2 up to an of relation r. r is the table name. So it selects all the complete columns based on the uh, uh, condition. What is the, that satisfies a given predicate. So here where a1 this is a definition you have to write where a1, a2 up to an or attribute names, names of relation R. And uh, this projection operator, the main use here is it the duplicate rows, whatever the present uh, that uh, that are there in the, uh, the duplicate rows are automatically eliminated as relation is set so whenever the complete relation is set what, uh, whatever the duplicate rows that are present this is the rows the same rows are present those are automatically eliminated after this relation will be set let's take the example for this projection the example is just simply pi subject comma author from books so subject author is nothing but suppose this is a table a table uh, relation name is the books and here the name subject author and the price so these are the attributes that are present in this uh, relation so this statement selects only these two columns okay so here the output for this is it select and projects column named as subject and author named as subject and author from the relation book from the relation books so this is about the projection let me take one simple example uh, to know the difference between this projection and selection let me take one example selection and projection example so i am taking one table that is a person the relation name is the person so for this person id name address and the hobbies So, in the fields for this is, uh, the ID is 1, 1, 2, 3. The name is John and he is staying 1, 2, 3 Main Street. And his hobby is stamp, stamp collection. And the same, another ID 1, 1, 2, 3 and his name is also John. And he is also staying 1, 2, 3 Main and he is doing coins. So, he is the same person in the same address. But he is having two hobbies, stamp collection and coins. Instead of writing in the multiple, uh, is just 
uh, a duplicate values you call it as a duplicate value 556 five, marry uh, he is staying in HSR layout and this is uh, hiking and another ID 4321 and his name is Bob he is staying in fourth sector and he is doing the stamp collection his hobby is stamp collection now let us write the query the first is sigma hobby is equal to stamps from person so whenever i have given this uh, query so what is the output i will get here so the output for this is id name address hobby so here i have to select the rows so sigma is used to select the rows select the rows where hobby is equal to the stamp collection so the hobby should be a stamp collection from the table person so this is a table person so in this person table i want the tuples only the tuples which satisfy the predicate that is stamps he is doing the stamp collection so only those two rows will be selected john 123 main doing the stamps and then 4321 Bob he is staying in fourth sector and he is also his hobby is a stamps collection so in this table only the person who is having the hobby of stamps those uh, persons will be selected so this is for this query you will get the output like this for projection let me take for the projection Projection means we I have to select the columns. Pi. What I have to select? The attributes. I want to uh, display the name. Hobby. From person table. So that's it. That's, then you will get only the two columns. From the table. Complete uh, column. Uh, means all the rows will be selected. Name. Hobby. So John. Stamps. Again, John, coins, Mary, hiking, and the Bob, he will do stamp collection as a hobby. So, this is selecting the columns. Okay. So, this is about the projection. Thank you.